So just a forewarning, this video is just a compiling of short videos I filmed while building uh, the coilovers for Lolo. It's not a DIY or anything like that. It was just, I recorded when I felt like I got to some points that uh, needed recording. Just maybe it might help someone out or it might be interesting to someone. So if you like it, let me know. It's not cool. <laughs> just, I uh, hope you enjoy it. All right. Why do I do this to myself? And it's five million degrees here in Arizona. Already? So, as you can see, we got suspension out. I actually washed the windows in her. And she came out pretty good. Oh, that thing fell down. Man, she looks all jacked up on this side. So yeah, so here's what's going on currently. So, garage is kind of a mess right now. Do I just organize it? Let's get this out of the way. Um, okay, so here's the situation. I wanted to build a simple coilover setup for Lola on this here stock suspension. So I pulled them off. The plan was to just, yeah, let's come over here. plan was to just grind this down, grind the lower perch down, grind this, weld up some metal here of some sort, and toss these bad boys on. And then run some springs and some top hats. The issue that we're dealing with is when I took these off and was taking the cartridge out, you can come out, dude. Just... Um, you could, uh, here, I'll show you. You get stuck right there. And if we come down here, you can see this thing was... dented pretty bad so <clears throat> while i'm sure it, it probably in the grand scheme of things is not very detrimental i'm guessing i mean i don't know it has, it has to like throw stuff off it feels like it's bent like if you look at it 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 looks bent like it looks like it's not the same shape so <clears throat> i'm scrapping this idea you know, it, it just, it, the situation is just, it is what it is right now. It's not ideal, but, um, here is the other housing off our, whatever spindle assembly, whatever the F you want to call it. Um, this is what Lola was running, which is just st stock strut housing, some cut springs of some various origin, and then, T3 camber plates, T3 NC RCAs, KYB AGX from uh, uh, the rear AW11 MR2, and the T3 spacers. Uh, I, okay, so here's, this is kind of, I'm going on rambling here for a little bit, but I'm trying to explain the situation. So I've been collecting some parts for here let me move this stuff out the way this is something else Oop. Oop. all right so these are eight six hubs eight six 
brakes, you know, vented brakes, then A6 front calipers. Oh, great. That's going to take me 45 minutes to get back in. Um, new lines, backing plates. It should be everything minus the bearings to make the A6 stuff swap over. Obviously, it's a little bit more of a project. You got, I have to deal with all the brake stuff, hope that the bearings just, you know, work and that it just, I, we're adding some level of complexity into what was supposed to be a quick little one day project, you know, so <clears throat> it is what it is. So eight, six strut housings. My plan is to cut this off, grind the weld down, place the weld down here and throw the sleeves on and same struts they feel seem to be good and then just slap it all together probably paint it all right all right so here's basically how i remove this bottom perch or this yeah the this spring perch just use angle grinder clamp it in with some with a glove right there just to soften it a little bit and then just went around uh kind of hammered her off so, oh, oh. Old perch. Probably just weld that thing back on if you needed to. So now I'm gonna go through and grind all that down. Oh, that's too bad. It's. If it was a little bit further down, you could just toss this thing on and be done with it. But unfortunately, I'm gonna have to figure out something to go down here to act as a to act as a stop for this. I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do at this point, but um, anyways, that bath I made with this with simple green and stuff, I just used a, a little wire brush hand you know manual wire brush and was able to get all the paint off so that's pretty cool i thought i was gonna have to take him in to get sandblasted or something so anyways that's done i'm gonna grind this down so i could slide this thing over and um this is gonna be an issue i think figuring out something to put over that but we'll see what i can come up with all right, so here is where we are at. I got this grinded down. So I left a little bit because now when I slide this on, it's actually nice and snug. Um, so I think, to me, it makes more sense that these set screws are supposed to be at the bottom. But for whatever reason, they have this, they have this set up weird. So I'm going to, here's the plan, put these on, first I'm going to cut some of this, which is actually a fairly tight fit, just exhaust piping, I'm going to slide this over, probably maybe here-ish, cut a sliver, and then just weld it, and uh, that's hot, uh, create a stop. That's without having to buy something that to me, that seems like the most logical explanation. I'll just try to see if I could chunk a bead on there to keep it because it's, I feel like combination with the fitting here, the set screws, and then this, I, I can't imagine it going anywhere, but um, I'll check back and see where we are going. I'm in AZ, Arizona, and it's quite hot out, so it kind of sucks doing this right now, but I kind of got myself into this mess, so I'm going to try and finish it. I'll wipe you off real quick. It's funny how messy stuff gets. So here is 
it's not the finished product and dude my welds are just so trash but i haven't used my welder in about a year and a half or something so it's on there well enough she's a piece of exhaust pipe welded it pretty good around i'm guessing it'll be enough hoping i guess we'll find out i could always i mean i guess i could drill some i should have drilled some holes and maybe kind of did like a plug weld or something but <clears throat> it'll do it'll it'll hold i guess maybe we'll see but i'm gonna let that cool down then i'm gonna clean it up a little bit more paint it put it all together and hopefully we'll have a one completed quill over it uh man it's a lot of work dude it's like a lot of i mean i know it's not necessarily hard work it's just you know when you're doing stuff yourself it, it causes you know you learn how to use what little tools you have uh, but you know it just you sacrifice time for money you know which is obvious i guess but just one of those things that i'm grinding over here dude i'm trying to get this suspension done when I could have just like paid 500 bucks or something that bought some, but anyways, I'm going to keep grinding away on this thing and hopefully we'll have one single coilover completed today. That's my goal. One single painted, I'm not going to throw the hubs on yet because unfortunately one of the hubs I have the studs broken so it really sucks that i have to order i have to order a kit just for that that one guy anyways oh yeah also i need to get i went and got bearings wheel bearings but i forgot to get the seals the grease seals so i gotta i gotta go get some of those and then i'll be able to at least get like probably the backing plates on and and stuff like that but it won't be a completed assembly it'll just be the coilover portion done all right i'm talking too much all right so here we are that's the housing i'm still gonna do a couple more coats of paint but that is what we are working with folks once they're together i'll Take some more pics or videos. All right, so here is one of the finished products. Uh, came out pretty decent. There's a few things that I f feel like I'm gonna have to address at some point. Needs a spacer in here. Um, this this is the T3 uh, spacer for the short strokes uh, shocks and. Or cartridge whatever you want to say uh it seems like it's too far out but it has enough threads engaging but but still it just looks a little weird um that's not really an issue i guess but mainly the top hats i'm a little bit worried about it needs that spherical bearing or whatever the hell it is that uh or the not the spherical but the you know what i mean the the bearing top hat so that way it could actually rotate in there um yeah, I mean, here it is. This is not like any type of major feat of engineering, but it's done. It's not short stroke, stock stroke. I just have shortened inserts with the T3 spacer. Um, eBay, or Amazon, I should say, sleeve kit. The only thing I had to purchase for this whole thing was the sleeve kit. Everything else I, I reused, so I had these already and the NCRCAs I had. So, <clears throat> one done, one more to go. Uh, let's see. So, that was the old setup. I don't want to set this on the floor, I just painted it. So, that's the only bad part about painted parts. You have to like actually take care of them. And uh, old setup, new setup. And this for, if you weren't following, this is the old AE71 slash TE72 style 
front um, hub assembly or whatever strut assembly. This is from an A86, so uh, it's going to be getting bigger brakes and and whatnot. So should be helping a few things. I ordered some some new studs, some um, ARP extended studs. Waiting on those to get here before I could actually really start going further into the process. But I also got some longer springs here that I could try out instead of these. You know, I don't know what's going to happen. They're short stroke shocks and my car is not super low. But, you know, if we run into an issue where this is not enough suspension travel, I didn't cut my strut tubes. So I can always just go back in there, you know, cut that section out, cut 40 mil out and then drop it back down but i am impatient and i didn't feel like paying anybody or hacking into my stuff i'm not confident enough with my welding to take that on so this is where we're at we'll see how this how this goes and kind of go from there see if we need to shorten them up or whatnot but i guess if you have any questions feel free to ask me i'm still just kind of winging it dude i don't know i don't know what i'm doing i'm just kind of doing it also it's like I mean looking here it's so ugly it's clean-ish you know it's like it's there's nothing really major I just have to wipe it all down and then paint it before I put everything together because it's not gonna look good all right so here is passenger side Basically just simple green and a scrub brush, wiping her down. So I'm gonna let this dry and then just hit it up with some satin black. Just do a good little coat over the whole thing and it should it should coat it for a little while, make her look decent. Not trying to go for a car, car like a show car. Obviously this is just fun little project. So <clears throat> hit it with some black. Call it a day. Start throwing it back together. All right. So this will probably be the last video in the coilover, I guess, kind of build, so to say. Um, both hubs are done. And just like the cheapest bearings, national, you know, O'Reilly brand bearings, um, cheapest studs you could find that had good, pretty good reviews. Um, these are just cleaned up. Backing plates, wheel seals. Uh, they seem to be the right ones, I don't know. It was kind of, this is the old AE71 stuff, but this looks like it's it'll do the job. Just got to hold the grease in, really, so. Uh, oh, come down here, here is this guy installed. Up and I'm good. All this this line's getting swapped out. I just left it on for laziness purposes. But I just kind of spritzed it with some black paint just to keep the keep the rust down. Eventually, I'll you know get stuff coated or whatever people do. I just it was everything was clean at one point, and then it started getting rusty, and everything kind of started to look like crap. So. It was a good time to, you know, get in there and just kind of make it look okay. This should this should hold up okay, and then eventually I'll I'll get some better undercoating kind of stuff, and I'll probably just scuff this or clean it, and then just top it off. Do a top coat of uh, of this, you know, with the undercoating, but this will be all right. <laughs> Come in here, and then. Other coilover is done, so um, just got to wait for the paint to dry a little bit better, and then um, got to modify this top hat a slight bit. What I used on the other one was, so there was not, not enough room here for the, when the top hat there's this spacer is not big enough so it just sat flat so there was no um, 
you know it just there's no room for it to rotate so this is actually a little spacer from some other coilovers i had for my newer corolla and i just drill out this top hat this sits in there and then that gets it enough clearance so it could rotate and actually have a little bit of rotation i don't know if that's the right way to do it but that's just what i'm doing you know what i mean so uh, i'm not i don't really read manuals or anything like that i'm just kind of kind of winging this you know um yeah old old stuff new stuff come over here i got i got my thing soaking in my in my wash tank this side done uh same just kind of spritzed everything with black just to this stuff was just rusting. It was painted nice at one point, and then I guess the paint just wasn't good enough, and it just caused everything to start getting like a, a flash rust almost, and it just kind of made everything look like ass. And, it, and everything is actually pretty clean, uh, but it just didn't look very good. So, anyways, did that. I'll maybe update later uh, in a different video once all the coilovers are done. But I can't believe I did that. Stupid. I had the hood closed when I painted inside there and got in there. Anyways, all right. I'll see you later. All right, guys. So for the sake of my sanity and just probably attention span, I'm going to go ahead and have this be the last part of this coilover video just so that way I could just get it out and then maybe I'll do another video if anyone cares I'll probably I'm gonna do it anyways but uh, maybe it might help people but I'll do some after shots of it and then maybe some driving shots to kind of I guess follow up to see how they did um, let's see This is the old AE71 stuff. The pads on this, it's hard to tell. There is nothing left on these pads. And like, if you look, the difference between these pads. Oh yeah, anyways, one wheel is done. Brakes on in um still gotta bleed them and and stuff like that but everything fits um uh, you know it's same thing on the other side nothing different i just gotta i gotta go through the steps of of putting everything together man this is gonna be nice dude wheels fit on everything clears these studs are long but i have extended lug nuts so you can't even see them uh brake lines fit i mean you know i gotta put the strut bar on and uh tighten up a few things but she's she's in and done uh, hope everything holds and nothing weird happens yeah you can see this old stuff man it's like i'm so i'm like so excited to drive it Got a few things here. Gotta go through these brakes, kind of clean them up. Install the wheel seals here. Bearings, blah, 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 all that stuff. It's easy, it's kind of fun to do anyways. And I gotta modify the top hat, this top hat. And put it all together, yeah, this one's done. Got scratched up from me uh, putting the sleeve on, but other than that, it's good. Everything came out pretty decent. I'm pretty happy with everything. There's a few things. I would like some longer sleeves. Uh, you know, we'll see what happens with the with the whole stroke size. You know, a lot of people are kind of complaining about why I didn't shorten the strut tubes, and it's just like, you know. I don't know. To me, it was 
I, you know, like I said, I was kind of scared to do it. I didn't feel like cutting up my, I have one set of these and I didn't feel like cutting them up and messing them up. So I wanted to just go ahead and give it a go with this way. That way, you know, it can be reversed if I, if I, or if I decide I want to go short, shorten tubes, I can, um, and then kind of go from there and use my longer springs. But this way was fairly easy and it was you know low budget and i guess it's not anymore but i would have had to pay someone to take it and i just to me it was a it was a better project for right now if down the road it's not working we'll we'll do that that'll be a separate thing because it's kind of an ever-evolving car so um you know let's see anything else i gotta do that get it i gotta bleed the brakes probably adjust the height a little bit and then should be good to go i don't think there's anything i'm missing at this point now i think i have everything and everything's working after that it's going to be cutting up these rear fenders i got to cut these rear fenders up get some flares on and uh kind of kind of go from there you come come over here to this side old stuff still hanging stuff floppy down but should look okay it's not a show car just a just kind of a little beater i drive around it's not, not a race car never will be let's see how much brake is left on this one whoa actually way more that's <laughs> that's funny there's like it's like these pads are are if you look at how much meat is on that come over here to this there's nothing on that this thing, these things weren't squealing or anything either it's gonna be an upgrade I mean, these brake pads are like, like literally this, and you, you're coming to, you know, you got 40% more brake pad there, and the thickness, I mean, it, it just, it has to perform so much better. I'm excited to see how it drives. Um, I'll get some upgraded rotors and, and uh, some pads to match them, but for now, this is good. I'll, I'm gonna go braided lines. But these are new, so it's like, I'll just use them for now. They work. I'll do all the braided lines all at once and it'll be cool.